types of motion. Objective To learn about various types of motion. There are various types of motion. Let us learn about the first one. That is, rectilinear motion. Rectilinear motion is defined as the motion in a straight line. Here, the path of the moving object is a straight line. If an object is moving along a straight line, we say that it is in rectilinear motion. For instance, when a car is moving along a straight line on a straight road, it is performing a rectilinear motion. Some of the daily examples of rectilinear motion are Apple falling from a tree. It falls straight to the ground, that is, in a straight line. Army march past. All the soldiers march in a straight line. Elevator left, moving up or down in a straight line. What if the path of a moving object is circular? If an object is moving in a circular path, it is said to be undergoing circular motion. Satellite orbiting the Earth is an example of a circular motion. Similarly, hands in a clock move in a circular motion. There is a third type of motion, that is, periodic motion. When the motion of an object repeats itself in equal intervals of time, it is called the periodic motion. Take a stone tied to a thread and hold through the thread, letting the stone hang. It is called a pendulum. When you move the stone to one side and leave, it starts moving in a to and fro motion. It is a periodic motion. Let us look at some examples of periodic motion. Tabla is a musical instrument. If you hit on the membrane of the tabla, you can observe that the membrane is vibrating which is a to-and-fro motion. It is a periodic motion. A swing in the playground moves in a periodic manner. Note that a satellite orbiting around the Earth also repeats its path in equal intervals of time. So, it is undergoing a periodic motion. It also comes under circular motion. We often come across objects that undergo more than one type of motion. Observe a ball rolling on the floor. The ball as a whole moves from one point to another on a straight line. It is in rectilinear motion. If you observe carefully, the ball rotates while moving forward. Thus the ball undergoes a rectilinear motion as well as rotational motion. Looking at these examples, we can say that an object may be undergoing more than one type of motion at the same time. Summary